Hi Grade 12s, I'm John McBride. And I'm Joyce Porco. Today we are putting organic chemistry into practice. We are making esters! Oh yes, although you won't be able to smell these fragrant compounds, you will be able to see the process of making them in small quantities. The reaction between an alcohol and a carboxylic acid produces an ester and water. We call this type of reaction esterification. Esters are fragrant substances that are volatile and they have low boiling points. Many esters have beautiful aromas. In fact, esterification reactions are used in the perfume and deodorizing industry to manufacture artificial fragrances. The reaction of a carboxylic acid and an alcohol to produce an ester is speeded up by the presence of concentrated sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid acts as a catalyst in the reaction. A catalyst is a substance which speeds up the rate of a reaction without being chemically changed during the reaction. So, at the end of the reaction between an alcohol and the carboxylic acid, sulfuric acid is still present in the reaction mixture. And this is a point worth noting, because concentrated sulfuric acid must be handled with care. Concentrated sulfuric acid is a powerful dehydrating agent and it's corrosive. It can cause severe chemical burns if it comes in contact with your skin. We will wear gloves and safety goggles. Let's put those on now. Okay. Looking cool. Today we use ethanol and methanol as our alcohols and ethanoic acid and salicylic acid as our carboxylic acid. As you can see, all of these substances are liquid except for salicylic acid, which is a crystalline solid. There is one very important precaution which you need to take very seriously. Never smell any chemicals by putting them under your nose and then sniffing. Many substances, and especially organic substances, give off very poisonous and toxic fumes. Ethanol is a case in point. The ethanol that is used in a chemical laboratory is 99% pure alcohol. Its fumes are so toxic that you could lose your sight permanently if you gave it a direct sniff. So, we waft the odour of the substance gently towards us and take a sniff of the fragrance. Right, we are ready to make the first esters. We are using ethanoic acid reacting with ethanol in this first investigation. Right, let's get our test tube ready. And we're going to add two mils of ethanoic acid to this test tube. Thanks Joyce, using the pipette. There we go, beautiful. So now, ethanoic acid smells just like vinegar. That's important to take note. Next, we're going to take 20 drops of ethanol. That's about 2 mils of the ethanol into the test tube, and away we go. Let's swirl it around. There we've got our carboxylic acid and alcohol. We need to add our catalyst. The catalyst is concentrated sulfuric acid. So we need to work very carefully now. So only two or three drops of concentrated sulfuric acid. We're going to run it down the side of the test tube. And hopefully that will get the reaction going. There it's sliding down. It's one drop. Lovely, lovely. Swirl it. It doesn't look like much is happening, but this mixture is starting to get hot. I'm going to rest it in the test tube in this beaker over here for a moment while we get our water bath ready. So we've already added about 10 mils of water into this beaker, and we're going to now take our test tube with our reaction mixture and place it into that beaker. It's time to light the Bunsen burner and get the heat going.
Now we put the beaker on the gauze mat and we heat the water until it boils. We're getting some bubbles inside the reaction vessel. And the water looks like it's almost boiling. There we go, water's boiling. Turning off the Bunsen flame. I'm going to let it cool down for a minute while it stands on the gauze mat here. The reaction is going quite nicely. Be very careful at this stage. If the contents of the test tube starts to boil, take the test tube out of the hot water and let it cool down slightly before returning it to the hot water. After about a minute in the hot water, we take the test tube out of the hot water and put it into an empty beaker to cool down. Now, the reaction mixture is cool. And so we are ready to do the last part of the experiment. We need to separate the unreacted acid and the ester that's in here and the unreacted alcohol. This is the last part of the process. So Joyce, won't you break some uh, sodium carbonate from there? Let's put... And I'll, yeah, there I'll we fill go. the beaker with sodium carbonate. Looking beautiful. And now we're going to get some reaction. Let's see what happens. Just slowly, slowly add the reaction mixture to sodium carbonate. Look what's happening. That fizzing stuff is an important thing to take note of. And you know what, Joyce? I can already smell something happening here. The layer of oily substance floating on the top is the ester. Have a waft mm. at this mixture. It doesn't smell like vinegar, does it? Not at all. Mm. Remember that in any laboratory, chemicals are smelled by wafting the order towards the nose with a hand like, like this. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Now, you never put your nose over the reaction mixture when you smell anything. This particular mixture, mm, I can't quite place it, but it certainly doesn't smell of vinegar. Not what at do you all. think? What do you think it smells like? I think it smells like enamel paint. Yeah, paint thinners. That's yeah. it. Mm, yeah. Oh no, I, it's not very pleasant. Uh, I, I think we should find another more pleasant smelling. Actually. Ester. Yeah. Good. Uh, it's a very distinctive smell, but I'm sure there are other esters that have a much better smell. Before that. Learners, you should record the fragrance of this ester formed by the reaction of ethanol and ethanoic acid. Later on, you can complete the other questions on the worksheet. But meanwhile, we are moving on to prepare another ester. This time we use a crystalline carboxylic acid and react it with methanol. Salicylic acid is a crystalline solid. Its IUPAC name is 2-hydrobenzoic acid. Here is its chemical formula. When we work with a solid acid, we need to change our method slightly. Of course, we first start with a dry, clean test tube. Here it is. We have measured 0.5 grams of salicylic acid to use in this reaction. So we'll add the salicylic acid to the test tube. Okay, tell you what, let's take some of the methanol and let's rinse it out, out the rest of the acid there. So take three mils of the methanol, add it to the boiling tube. There we go, shake it around. Now make sure that it follows down so we can get all of that stuff. That's it, beautiful, lovely. Okay, you'll see 
that the acid hasn't totally dissolved, but I'm swirling it, more or less dissolved. All right. What shall we do next, Joyce? Finally, we add the catalyst. We carefully add a few drops of concentrated sulfuric acid to the mixture, dripping it down the sides of the test tube. Here we go. It's one drop, two drops, and another one to make sure everything reacts. Ah. A couple of bubbles there. It looks like it might even be reacting. Sulfuric acid heats up when we add it to other liquids like alcohol or acid. The increase in temperature helps speed up the reaction rate. Right. The water bath is ready. John, please put the test tube in the water and let's heat the mixture. Now we're lighting the Bunsen burner. And there we go. Okay, the water's starting to boil. So we're going to turn off the Bunsen burner, but we're going to keep the reaction mixture in the hot water. And watch it carefully so it doesn't overboil. Okay, it's been about a minute that the reaction mixture's been in the hot water. We're going to take it out and put it in a empty beaker and allow it to cool for a little while. Right, let's check. This reaction mixture has cooled down nicely. So let's, let's get ready. Let's add dilute sodium carbonate in here. And now I'm going to pour in the reaction mixture. Oh, isn't that great? Right. Let's stir a bit. Now, Joyce, mm. there's no need to let it stand for a short while. I can smell something. Wow. Have a waft. What this ester has a very distinctive smell. You know what it reminds me of? What? Athletes. The change room. Oh, it's the one that we used to treat sore muscles. That's right. As well as sprained angles. That's right. It's called wintergreen. Mm. This is a very pleasant odor. Learners, record the fragrance of this ester formed by the reaction of methanol and salicylic acid. It is now time for you to answer the questions in your worksheet. The work is set for you to tackle by yourself without any help or discussion with your peers. All right. Remember to hand in the completed worksheet to your teacher before you leave the classroom. This assignment forms part of your school-based assessment for metric. Right, learners. It's over to you now. We wish you all the success in completing this task. <laughs>